Hey guys, today I'm going to be doing two things. As you all know, it is Wednesday, so not only will I be doing my update for the Spring Break Readathon, I will be doing the top five Wednesday topic. So first I'll tell you how I did for today's reading, and if you want to know how I did yesterday, I'll put a link down below. As a reminder of the total pages I had from yesterday, it was 839 pages and a total of three books. Today I read It's a Casual Fantasy by J.K. Rowling. I am almost done. I just have 100 pages left. So that means I was able to read 367 pages a day, which adds up to 1,206 pages in total for this week. I will definitely have this book finished tomorrow. Very excited to see how it ends. To the top five Wednesday topic, which is top five parents. And I'm going to tell you what they are, but they are not in any particular order. Anne and Gilbert from the Anna Green Gable series. I think that their way of parenting was such a brilliant way. Letting the children have the ability just to imagine and have a little bit of that freedom and not to constrain them with that. Yet they had this discipline and the ability to, you know, so you know when it needed to be. And of course it wasn't perfect, but you felt the love that came from their parenting. Matthew and Marilla who adopted Anne. I chose these two because although especially Marilla didn't have such a easy time or knowledge enough to be the best parent, she loved Anne so much and I saw it in subtle ways and she just loved her and Matthew loved her so much and you could see that and Brian from My Sister's Keeper by Jodie Picoult and he's not perfect and he made a lot of mistakes he knew that things were wrong he didn't like it and he was trying his best to keep an open mind towards Anna's lawsuit and what was going on and he was just trying to love all of his children the best that he could even through the hell that they were going through. Mr. and Mrs. Weasley, I've only read the first two or three books in the series but from what I've seen of them I think they're quirky, kind of weird, but lovable parents. Love their children very much and they'll do whatever it has and they'll do whatever they have to to take care of their children and to do best by them and I just love their love for their children. Ned or Ed Stark, I really like him because he's he has honor and he teaches his children through example and I really appreciate that as a parent. I think that any parent who will teach your child to do what's good and honorable is the kind of parent I I think that any kind of parent who would show such a horrible example as Cersei did to her children and let them get away with all this crap that she did with Joffrey and all of that and it, it was just, you know, I would not want that kind of example for my children if I had children. And I know that if I ever were to have children, which I know I will never have, I would want the kind of example that Ned, Ed, gave to his children. So that was my update and my top five for this week. Tell me down below if you're participating in the Spring Break Readathon and how you're doing and what are some of your top parents in books. I would like to know. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you tomorrow.